going to do to get control of it? Well, if we can't clear the guy's grip like we did a second ago, what we need to do is grip hold of both of their levers. Okay, so now my hand is over the top of his, so now who's deciding which way it's pointing? Well, we still, you still have a boat, but I have a better boat right now, right? But it, this could happen, right? So I want to do a couple of things. One of them is I want to bring my weapon into me so that I'm getting my core strength involved in the fight. Okay? The next one is I want to start using my other body levers to be able to orient this towards him. So for example, I can push it over my leg like this, right? So once I've got it here, like he's a lot bigger and stronger than me, but if I do this and turn or use my core strength, I can get it pointing towards him soon enough. So most likely thing he's going to do is hit me, right? So what's my defense to punches? I'm armed, right? It's the same. I'm going to do this. Then he's going to start trying to hit me, and then I'm going to work my knees in, and we're going to get to this position. Only now I have the option to do this, right? Push my knee away so I clear my draw stroke, pull it up, and then canoe his head right here, right? And what do I say before I shoot it? Don't shoot, shoot myself. Myself. Don't shoot myself, right? Now right here it's pretty obvious, right? This would be an easy way to not shoot myself, but it's not always obvious. And he'll be flailing. Imagine when I get my gun out. What's really going on in this fight, right? It's going to be that, right? Bam, right? I'm going to be making space, making sure that I don't shoot myself. <laughs> Grappling start. 
Where's grappling range, right? So grappling range is whatever range that guy can get to you before you can notice there's a threat, assess that he's trying to get you, pull your weapon out, make the decision to kill him. You can't get all that done in the amount of room he's got, and it was grappling range.